Oh, look, I know I'm not a bit of but I all love to everyone doing their yeah. thing. But I just felt it's everyone just jumped in to try to be famous, bro. It yeah. wasn't even for the love, some of it. Mm. He raps, but I'm gonna rap because he raps. Mm. So they jump in and everyone's just everyone, everyone. You know, if he's got more buzz than him, bro, we're gonna follow him now. Yeah. That's kind of lost its love and integrity to the game and that. Yeah. Like people were just, oh, it's cool to rap now. 13 year olds, bro, trying to yeah. be villains and yeah. And they, they do for the hypes and scenes and that. You know, yeah. it's not like the olden days when we first come in. All right, everyone, today's episode is sponsored by Culture Kings. They've given me a code to give you, code SPANION, 10% off anything in their store. Jump on their website. Anything you buy at the, at the bottom, they're gonna say, choose a code, chuck in Spanion, you're getting 10% off. Look at their clothes, boys. I've been to their store, I walked around, gun clothes. And look, I like plain stuff, but it's not only plain stuff. Like I told you, they got mad Nordica tracksuits. They got mad stuff, brother. Check the website. And boys, you know, they sell ASICs. They do. Look at the ASICs they got, brother. They got the new, they got the new Quantums. They got these in many colors too. They got them in black and silver, black and gold, all red. Proper mad quantums. They got heaps of stuff anyway. Go on their website, check it out. Top clothing store, use code SPANIAN, 10% off. That's it, let's oge. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Search. Today's guest is a true Western Sydney rap pioneer, a well-respected MC who's known for his vicious flow, strong wordplay. One of the first Aussie rappers I heard when I was in jail, and the local scene was really starting to pop off. He'd released four studio albums, many music videos, and has played his shows Australia-wide. I've been looking forward to meeting him on the podcast since we started. That was always on the... It's always been in the comments. It's always been on my whiteboard. Um... Ladies and gentlemen, Mitchell the Menace. Boom, brother. Hoya, hoya, hoya. Hoya, it's a pleasure. You're still on my plate, brother. Hoya, it's a pleasure to meet you, Thank you, brother. Thank you. Finally, bro. Yeah. After talking over the years, I'm like, bro, it's a pleasure to meet you for sure. Been talking to your social media. Yeah, bro. I watched watched your your growth, bro, as well as you talking about mine then. I watched your growth, bro, from you coming in first, thinking, yeah, mad, this jail lad. Yeah. And then now look at you, bro. Yeah. Now look at you, bro. (laughs) You're a sick bro. On my way. Thank you, brother. No, my pleasure, bro, as I said. So, bro, you grew up in Western Sydney. Yeah, bro. West specifically. Doonside. Doonside, man, yeah. Yeah, mad. Always in Dooney? Always Dooney and, and Layla Park, bro. So, um, my mum, single mother. Mm-hmm. I've got like three brothers, two sisters. She just was doing it tough in Dooney a bit, bro, you know? Yeah. Um, my, my dad lived with my nan in Layla Park. You know, my dad, I'll be real with you, bro. My dad just was a mad junkie in the day, you know? Like mm-hmm. mad heroin and like that we grew up like no one that he was like that my mum was just a drunk bro so i yep. was floating between two houses you know like oh, in Layla, sad. my nan my nan would um help raise us bro you know because it was a bit calmer for us bro it's good to go over there yeah dad's mum yeah my dad's mum yep. yeah so she was a bit normal like you know my dad was just doing his things yeah yeah. There, yeah 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 you know what i mean but yeah like uh, dooney and Layla, bro them are two two spots yeah where did you stay mostly um dooney dooney? Side, bro two i was about about 10 years old, bro. Um, so, fuck, bro, I've got to take you back here, hey. All right, man, so um, uh, I have a little brother, bro, who was born a bit later than all of us, you know, we're yep. doing our thing. I, don't, I haven't really told many people this, bro, I've only told one other person this, but um, all right, so my um, my mum had a baby to my, to my oldest brother's mate from school, bro. Mm-hmm. So I was fucked, bro, that crushed us. Me being young, bro, thinking, hey, what the fuck's going on, bro? This is like weird, you know? So um, I left Fuck. home when I was young, bro. When I was a ten, I went to live with my Maltese mate. Used to deal drugs and shit, got free billies and shit, bro. Used to get mad <laughs> love off the older ones and yeah, shit. Hectic. So I was mad, bro. I went kind of to Glen Denning for a year or two. Yep. Went to Layla, back to my dad, and just from there, bro. Yeah. Fuck. So, so, so bro, so like, yeah. so your mum was alcoholic. Yeah, yeah. Like I love my mum, bro. Yeah. I never ever like. Yeah, yeah. His yeah. love is always gonna be there, bro. She was just the circumstances she was dealt, bro. She. Yeah. This is what she was, bro, and we just had to deal with it. You know, us growing up as kids, bro, that's how it was. Yeah. Mm. Fuck. I get, I get what you said about yeah. that, like that situation. That'd it was nasty, as bro. Fuck. It was nasty. Like when you're a young lad, you're like, what the fuck's going on, bro? Like yeah. I couldn't register it, bro, you know? Yeah. So it kind of made me go like, fuck everyone, bro. Like my trust issues are bad, lad. Oh, I really? Don't trust yeah. I don't hang with no men, bro. Yeah. I don't, I don't hang with no one, bro. I ain't got many friends. We if sound you, similar in that aspect. Bro, I do yeah. my own thing and I yeah. always have, bro. I never wanted handouts off no one. Yo. I just couldn't trust, bro. From the from young, yeah. I've been fucked over young lads. So I never I never had that guidance of like, 
hero, look up to us and that. The only ones that I did was the older boys. Yo. You know, someone giving us some love, like one of my mates' mates, man. Yeah, my mates' man. brothers, bro. They're like, here, bro, here's some weed. You hang with yeah, them. Yeah. You get fed and shit by their mum and that. And you're like, yeah, this is yeah, hectic. So where, where'd you go stay with your mate? And he's... Uh, Glen Denning, bro. Where's that? Like, uh, Glen Denning is close to Dooney. So, you know, oh, Plumpton, Rudy Hill, you ever yeah, heard yeah, of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, area yeah. near there. All oh, right, yeah. And, um, yeah, just fucking come like me best mate, man. You yeah, know? man. Kind of just stayed there for a bit, bro. I got a bit older, done a bit more riffless shit. Yep. We were doing snow drops and shit like that, bro. Oh, like, yeah. We were snow dropping, stealing clothes <laughs> and shit back in the old days, yeah, bro. That's like, people, these new ones won't even know about yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> they're all my ears These shit. days, they're reckoning close from David Jones, Jones. lad. <laughs> That's how he is, lad. Oh, snow <laughs> back dropping. then, bro, we were snow dropping and shit. I learned like my older brothers... At the time too, bro. All of us moved out because no one wanted to stay home with my mum, bro. We didn't want that shit. We couldn't comprehend, bro, how that shit could happen. Yeah. You know, like, it wasn't something. Like, I tell you what, bro. When I was young, because it was Eminem and shit, I'm like, watch 8 Mile. And I think, fuck, this guy's been in the same life, bro. Yeah, yeah, Happened yeah. to him, bro, what? So I'm oh, like, yeah, hey. Yeah, bro. And I was like, fuck, bro. This guy just wrote a story for me life, bro. So, Mitchie won't become a rapper, lad. Oh, so yeah, you really brothers, connected to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my brothers were like doing their thing bro going out so I'm like I'm moving out I'm, I'm not, I can't stay at home with my mum you know yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was a ruthless bro her, my little brother's daddy ruthless like jailbird doing this bro oh was he her, like numerous shit to me mum bro burnt me mum once made her walk up the street naked heaps of fucked up Come shit on. bro swear mother's brother Fuck. sprayed on her back slut with a can of spray paint made her walk up we're little we can't do shit you know we're young bro. I was like nine you or seen ten stuff like, you seen, seen everything stuff? brother all of this shit you know so like as my, like as I said, bro. As much as our mum has put us through and it molded me, I put a mask on when I was young, lad, and yeah. that made me, bro. That yeah, made me yeah. who I am. So I didn't trust no. Bro. I'm like, I'm gonna be a ruthless. I'm gonna yeah, hang with yeah. ruthless. I'm gonna become a ruthless. Because I ain't gonna be that little boy, bro. Yeah, hundred percent. All scared and shit. Getting watching your mum get beaten and burnt and this and that as a, a the stepdads come in different ones and. I don't, you know, no one really knows me, bro. They don't know me outside of this music because I don't fuck with heaps of people. You, sh- you shocked me already, brother. Brother, I do. Like, that's, I swear, that's I don't hang with a lot of people. Like, 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 a couple of best friends know my shit and that's yeah. it. The rest, well, I don't open up too many to yeah, too many yeah. people, brother, I swear. Fucking Because I just, bro. yeah, bro, I just put a mask on when I was young and then I wanted to hang around my bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I want to hang around <laughs> yeah. the boys, lad. Someone yeah, that gives you mad love because they've been through similar shit. Yeah. You know, you can connect with people like that. Yeah. And it, yeah, bro. What, what Eminem? Start, that was the start of my shit, bro. What Eminem is the album the first year? Um, is, is it the white one, the Mother's LP? Yeah, that's it. That, bro, I love that's that it. album. That's it, bro. I swear I to God. that album. You know, and then I heard Encore and shit because I was still yeah. young. And then you're like, this guy, every song's my life, yeah, bro. Yeah. This guy, my dad, you know? Yeah. <laughs> my dad's not there. <laughs> this guy, my dad, bro, you know? Dad, hey. Fully. And, um, so where'd you start floating around then, brother? When you switched it on? So I Glenn Denning. We went to Kingswood with them. They moved there. So I went with them and hung around them. And then... I went to Layla, hung with some of the boys there, but I didn't connect with them because I was a Dooney boy. Yeah. You know, so I'd go back to Dooney for about a year or two. You know, I'm like 14, 15, just smoking Illy Bays yeah. for years, doing that whole fucking yeah. shit. And, um, you know, you get into graph. I used to like snakes and shit because all the boys were into that. Yeah. I catch snakes and lizards and shit when I was younger. Oh, so really? I went out and done all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Like you got snakes, snakes out there at West A. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> we go further to the bush, bro. <laughs> So, no, nah, serious, bro. I used yeah. to like, I had a lot of Koori boy mates, you know, because doing so, I'd, we grew up like yeah. a lot of more cultural there. So, yeah. I'd all my best mates, man. So, I just hung around them and done what they did there parents, dealers, this, that. Yeah. Man. yeah. So, I felt like that's where you got your love from, you know. So, I was always out and never home, bro. Yeah. I was always where you got that mad love, you know, because my brothers were older. They already took off, bro. They didn't want to deal with that shit. Yeah. So, they were out doing the same thing, but older generation. Yeah, you know? yeah. How much older than you is your older brother? Um, my oldest one's like, Seven years older than seven me. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not even that so much. Nah, no, nah, like, it's not even that much. They were sixteen, bro. They were like seventeen, man. maybe max, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or something. So I don't know what yeah. that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. Way, so bro. I was little in like primary school still. Yeah. Bro. So I was like a little boy, bro. <laughs> and then yeah. I'm like, fuck this shit. Hundred, bro. bro you know? Fuck. When is that? When you, is that why you started rapping? Not exactly, bro. No, Just exactly. they used to listen to like Cypress Hill. NWA had a six stack at night when he wasn't home. I'd thrash the music, bro. And yep. I'm like, fuck, I connect with this, bro. Music's mad. Yeah. It's something like, I swear to God, bro, even when I've been young, going through some hard times, I had a 5110 or something, bro. Like, one of my mates' studs or tattoo us, he gave it to me. And I, I was writing my poetry, bro. I was writing fucking poetry on a phone. And I'm like, why the fuck am I doing this shit, bro? That's the it. words would just feel something. I can feel something in music that I can't feel anywhere else, bro. Yeah. So it kind of was like, I felt like it was bred in me. Yep, like yep. something I would wanted to write. Like, 
Not even to fucking rap beats, bro. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. run shit. Just no beat in that night. Oh, that's mad. Going through times, just doing your shit and then like trying to write like intricate shit and meaningful shit as a young and Yeah, yeah. And then I'm like... Little loved ones. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Little love powers. And then, and then when I heard like Eminem after like hearing like me brother listening to like uh, West Side Connection, Ice Cube and shit, mm-hmm. that was like gangster as fuck, bro. I'm like, yeah. this is mad. And then Eminem did come in. I'm like, oh, wow, this white fella can rap. Yo. I'm white too. Maybe I can rap. Yeah. It's all cool. It's cool for us to rap now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just had that music in me, so I wanted to do it. Yeah. So I just pursued it, bro. I just freestyled for years and years, but never done anything with it. Never. What year are we talking about now? Oh, bro. Give me a rough, like, rough fuck. 05. Yeah, yeah. Roughly around, around, around that. Five, something yeah. like that, bro. Yep, yep, Maybe yep. even a bit younger, actually, bro. Yep. Maybe even 01 or something, yep. dude. Yeah, around that. So yeah. I was still young then, bro. I still, I didn't really grow when I was young. I was a little. Yeah, yeah. hanging around all these other and I kind of shut up a bit later but um yeah bro yeah yeah around that around that yeah yeah I know, the music I felt it bro but what was it what was Aussie rap like back then what out, out, bro, out west all I really heard like because I was um my older brother's new forte yeah oh, so right, I kind of connected yeah. a bit like that that's another reason why I rap to be honest with you bro um they knew him Thought was the hookup for weed and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like he knew who. Where, where's is he? He's from Blacktown, Prospect. Blacktown. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same area. Yeah, same area. Same area. Yeah. Baylor Park, Blacktown, Doonside, all that shit. Sevo, they're all in the same pocket, yeah. bro. You know, just a stone throw each. each yeah. Bit. Um, they all knew him, and I'm like, oh wow, he raps, bro. So I heard of him and Cursor. I didn't really hear of anyone yet. Yeah. And then Enter heard about him and Sesk. And I'm like, oh, these boys are from the area, lad. I don't know yeah. Sesk. I can rap, bro. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So but I heard Sesk about from? Aussie rap. Um, Sesk, is Sesk, Park. Sesk is the black fella that yeah, raps yeah, with Enter. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He yeah, was uh, Layla Park. Oh, he's from yeah, Layla yeah. Park too. Mm. Yeah, hectic. Same area, bro. He's, so um, like, yeah, bro, man. can I just get onto that, the Forte bit? <clears throat> Forte was like, was he one of the, out of the boys from there, one of the, I seem to think, but like, but obviously I wasn't around then. Mm-hmm. Like, I got out of jail and just blew in the scene. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I got out of jail here. Just jumped in. Yeah, yeah, bro. But like, so I know from later talks, was Forte like a central one of the earlier figures oh, for, yeah, for rappers? Oh, dude, hundred percent. He was repping the area before anyone repped. Before the area. anyone, no one did it. Yeah. You know when you go to school and you're rough, you kind of don't tell them where you are from. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe from the Hills District, and they're like, "What?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't tell them you're from Dooney back in the day. Yeah. They used to charge us straight up, bro. Yeah, like straight up, it was like that back in the day. Now people were trying to say their postcode, bro. Yeah, yeah. No yeah, one yeah. said that shit. No one. Said no that. one. Yeah, yeah. Thought was the originator, bro. I it was originator. That. Yeah, it was originator. Because I noticed, bro, like stayed the same the whole time too, bro. Did he, man? Always the same, bro. Because I noticed, like when I first come out, started going on social media and rapping, mm-hmm. it was like he was like, huh. he just talked about like with a lot of respect. You know, he's like central to this and he's central to yeah, that. Yeah. And and I was thinking like, hey, how? Like, you know what I mean? Like, why is he so... And then I hear because he was like rocking it. Like, it, yeah, everyone yeah. that's rapping now, when they were young, they, he was already rapping. Yeah, you know was, what I mean? Yeah, already, yeah, bro. He was like doing shows. We only dreamt to do shows, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, this would be sick. Imagine being on stage, bro, doing our raps and shit. What's the first show you went to? Um, first, uh, one, first Aussie show you went to? Was it Tattersalls at Penrith? Yeah, who yeah, was it? Yeah. I was. Um, who did we back? Hijack and torture. And oh, no, I was a hijack or something. Oh, the first show you done? Yeah, 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 yeah. What yeah. was that? The first show you've been to? Oh no, no. no I mean, no, who's no, the first, first show, show you've been to? Bra, I don't remember. Was that a thing bruh. that you done when you were young? No, did you? No, nah, not really, bro. Not, not really. really yeah. I'll be honest yeah. with you. Nah, so I was getting mate. the trouble. Fucking yeah, up. Yeah. I wasn't. I heard of these. Like, to be honest, I wasn't fucking with him. Someone told me. Bro, I wasn't fucking with him. Like I knew Fort. Yeah. But with Enters and all that, I wasn't fucking with none of their music, bro. Yeah. Because I was, gr- I was growing up on fucking American stuff. Yeah. So these dudes weren't the best to me. Yeah. I'm like, man, they're speaking real, but I don't resonate with that shit. Yeah. Just. No, I get you. Just because I was listening to Eminem and fucking Cypress Hill, N.W.A. and. All that bullshit, bro. So I was like, Americans mad shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Aussies, I, I wasn't like, I'm going to go watch them or nothing. Um, I gave I them mad, openly about I'm like, it. mad respect. Yeah, but I wasn't like, I'm not going to your show and shit. Yeah, I yeah, speak yeah, openly yeah, about real. that, bro. It's like, yeah. I talk about it in my book, this mm. and that. It's just, it, it's like, and I don't mean it disrespectfully for any of us today. Yeah, and I'm part same, of it. Same. But back then, it was gronk shit. Yeah. I'm going to be straight yeah, out with yeah. you. It I was, you I say it all the time, bro. I know what you mean, It was bro. full gronk shit. Like, I, I, you would have never heard me say this, but when I used to rap on the sly in jail, mm. and it was on the sly because it was like, if you'd rap in the open, you were like a, 
like people used to step away and think you're a spinner. Yeah, yeah. Like it was that bad, yeah, bro. Yeah. It was that bad. Like you know, yeah, in people jail, f- look you in jail, bro. Yeah, in jail. Yeah, like yeah. I don't know about. That's why one of the bars um, in in the six, one of my songs, I rapped in prison before when I wasn't eats to rap in prison because like. I used to have to rap and I used to have to keep it on the sly, bro, you know, and I was good. But I remember like a couple times I spat in the yard and like boys that I was with, boys that were eats, who were yeah, eats, yeah. they were like, they looked at each other and just walked away, bro. And they're like, what's this aunt doing? Like, yeah, bro, yeah. what was that? You're rapping. You're like, and I go, bro, I'm rapping, man. Yeah, I go, all right, relax. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, you know what I mean? Doing? Yeah. And you, bar. Bar. So you're, you're writing poetry, you, you know, forte, you go to a couple of shows here and there, and then all of a sudden, I'm, I'm gonna be an Aussie rapper. Yeah, bro, bro, I just, all right, so I used to just go to parties, be that young, drunk at parties, bro, freestyle, and I just chomp them. Yep. Just chomp them at battles, bro, and they're like, bro, you're good, why don't you do something? Anyway, a year or two went, didn't even worry about it. I started to go back to Layla, didn't fuck with the boys in Dooney, all of them going to jail and shit, bro. Mm. All gone out, have beef with each other. Yep. You know how it is, bro, area mm. shit. You go back to your other hood, see me in Angley with her for a little bit, try to be a good bro, not doing bad shit. And then I met me mate Alex, bro, Fraser in Layla, and I'm like, Rapping at parties, brah. They used to call me Dream Boy because I'd be a blind bra. Their things knocking fans over, brah, spitting. Yeah, yeah. They're like, this guy doesn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, bro, you're good. You're good. Yeah. Why don't you write something down? And I'm like, man, he built a booth, bro. He built a booth at his backyard. Oh, no way. Seriously, built one. And then I'm like, fuck, bro. I'm going to jump in and do shit. I'll freestyle a mixtape, bro. Yep. Make a fucking mixtape. I'm like, bro, what if I like write shit down and try to do it? Yeah. yeah. And then I'm like, I'm gonna rap, but that's just me, bro. I, I ended up decision. doing, I ended up doing like 12 songs, pretty quick, and then I forte because you know I've seen him. What year is this? Um, 15, 14. Six years ago, six years so ago. 16, yeah, yeah, yep, yep. yeah, around 16. Yep. And then um, I'm see. like, oh, you got songs forte, bro. You want to hear this shit? He goes, when you got an album, come and see me, bro. Show me. I'm like, yeah, yep. man. I said, no worries, bro. I'll see yep. you soon. Literally, I said, I'll see you soon, bro. Yeah. Bang, done him. Threw into him, and he goes, bro, let's just drop it on at large. Let's go. And I'm like, I'm gonna be a rapper, lad. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. La- the rapper. So I at large, the he's, he's at large label. productions. He's, he's his label, label, yeah. His channel, his label, label channel. Yeah, channel. He's yeah. used to do the Fortnightly Report. And yeah, all yeah. That shit, I was bro. on there. Yeah, you yeah, were on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're all on there, bro. Yeah, I was on and um, there. for real, bro. That's literally how to start yeah. it. Like, literally, bro. He's I'm a visionary, like, gonna, bro. He is, brother. No, you know what? He's, like, he's, he's, he, yeah, he's a visionary. You know, he's got his way of doing shit, yeah. bro, which is fought and will always be fought. Yeah. You know, everyone's out to make money, bro. We all are. But he's always stayed that from the start. Listen, bro, let's do this. Let's do that. You want to boost yourself? I'm here yeah. to boost yours. So he's always been the same from the start, bro, you know? Even but just that always, fortnightly report, brother. That's, mm. That is... Uh, that's an out of the box thinking mind yeah. to run in what vision. What is bro. essentially he, 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 a podcast yeah. before podcasts were cool, brother. I'll be honest. Mm. You're a fucking enhanced version of your thinking to start, and then you just went to super levels. Yeah, super yeah. saiyan levels. Stop but he had it. the same Stop thing, it. like <laughs> yeah. <Stop> <laughs> nah, listen, laddie. Yeah, had a similar thing. Yeah, he wanted to do it, but we didn't have the so we didn't have the backing back then in the mm. days. You know. We didn't get back to Timing much, is a lot. Timing is key, brother. Mm. Timing you is know, a lot. You come in at a perfect time, bro, and you said, no, I say this, that bro. I said that on a, a podcast that I've yeah. done with Mark Burris recently. Mm. Yeah, I watch a lot of, um, you know, inspirational stuff, and people laugh at it, but, you know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger talk, and, yeah, bro, you know, they talk, in, you know, like people, ha- what mind state did they have? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's and key, bro. Even people like- You've got to expand your mind by watching how others expanded theirs too. And yeah, how, and hear their lessons, 100%. bro. 100%. But lessons I'll tell you one thing, bro, thing like a say. lot of them say, right? A lot of them, specifically Schwarzenegger, is that it just comes down to hard work, and I don't fully believe that. Yeah. I don't fully believe that. I think that it's a whole mixture of things. Hard work definitely won. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying that, no. but timing's I, I, another thing. Yeah, 100%. You know what I mean? Like, well, I'm down with that. Because hard work, bro, I always was doing hard work when I started in this scene. Like, I always wanted to push. I was dropping shit all the time. Mm. But at, at, oh, it's funny you say that, bro, because some of the nights I'll be laying there and I'm like, I hit up a certain person. It was just timing, bro. Yeah. They're like, bro, yeah, mad, let's do something. Then I connected. Yeah. And then it gave me a window open to do like merch or something, bro. It's yeah. always timing, bro. It is. Hard work pays off, but not if you... Hard work is... Are doing hard work now. No one knows them. No one knows them, bro. That's my, that's, They're the that's best in Australia. Saying. No one knows them. Yeah, They've got a I'm mind saying. for it, but they just no time in, no back. Look at the whole the half the world. Yeah, bro. That's why, like I, I hear Arnold Schwarzenegger say, hard, hard work is everything. It's all hard work. That's the only reason I'm here. I'm thinking, bro. All right, brother. Like you're mad bodybuilder on that, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, pretty yeah. sure there's like Indians, pe- Indian people, no one knows of that work harder than yeah, you. Yeah, They're yeah. never gonna Fact. be in the predator. They never. never you know what I mean? Never. So it's, it's, Timing was key back then. Yeah. Their people were made to do certain things in life. 
Yeah. I swear, bro. I always believe that. Mm. You're being put here to That's do something, bro. That's you are here one. to do something. Like some Einstein's mine. You're Tesla's, here to do something. Or, yeah. or this dude who built fucking the building next door, bro. They were here the to do something. Exactly. You or you be that kind of don't do shit and yeah. sit down and do nothing about it. Timing, hard yeah, work, like and you're built here for something. I like I'll, that. Brother, I'm all about this shit. I'm telling you. I like I'm that, about brother. that kind of stuff because when you come from these heartbroken times and you think that you can never get an opportunity, you believe that, nah, bro, I've been put here for something better, lad, and I'm gonna I'm running it. with that. I'm gonna uh, run it with That's it. That's my, forget the brother. timing conversation. <laughs> run with This it, was brother. God's plan, brother. Yeah. Bro, whether it's God or whoever the Whatever fuck, it is, the world's plan. Whatever it's alien yeah. that fucking put us on this rock floating through a fucking Yo. space. Like, it's crazy, bro. Yeah. When you think about the opportunities you're given, just some random human, bro, yeah. and here you are doing this, you know? Here I am doing this. Yo. Dudes over there doing that. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. Timing and you're being put here for something, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm not, I'm not real religious, bro, because yeah. otherwise, why would I be fucked over so much as a kid? Yeah, like, why yeah, would yeah. you do that? Why this guy dying of cancer over here to kids and shit? Yeah, it's so a very big, complex thing. Yeah. But I believe there's something, lad. I don't know. There's something. That's good enough. There's something. Yeah, that's it. That's as long as enough. you're intelligent that's enough it. to understand that there is something. Yes, that's it. That's it doesn't it. matter what you doesn't are. matter what I'm it religious. Is, and you know, like, you know what annoys me more, more yeah, yeah. is that the religious people that act like they know that there's a God, right? Mm. And that might be a weird thing to say. And I equally hate the non-religious people that act like they know that there's not a God. Yeah, yeah. It's like, wait a minute, bro. You believe in your religion. I'm yeah. Christian. Does that mean I know 100? No, I don't. I just chose it. Yeah, Relax. Yeah, yeah, I like nice. it. I love yeah. it. That's yeah. my choice. Like I've got mates too, man, that are real deep into it. And I'm like, bro, some of the things to do with Christ and God and shit. Like I'm down for it, yeah. I'm down for the conversations, yeah. but we all get our own thing to choose yeah. and shit, you know what I mean? But as long as you, like, I, I, I really respect you that. Gotta as long as you that. say, well, I've, look, I don't know what there's thing, I don't know what's going it. on, but there there's is something more, there. I wanna know when we but go, you know, I wanna know, bro, I wanna know. Of, you know there's a lot of people that just legitimately believe nothing. Nothing, yeah, like, like how? Bro, what are you talking <laughs> about, <laughs> Yeah, bro? what are you talking about? I don't have the answers. Stop it, stop it, But like, let's just. Yeah, 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 I'm with it, I'm with it, There's something, brother, relax. Yeah, 100%. 100% yeah. There is something bro well, Whatever it is We're not gonna know Until you die Yeah yeah Unfortunately Yeah bro But fine. you know But so good Let's get back to this yeah, rap bro, yeah, So yeah, like you've I've gone lost in that all day Yeah you know, bro. <laughs> You've gone to Fort with the thing He's dropped it Yeah man I jumped so, in So you've written an album Before you've even Approached a- it, Approached the, the platform game. Yeah bro That's mad I dropped, I dropped straight Menace No Chasers I done a film clip With my shirt off lad First yep. rapper doing one With his shirt off tats yep. Had a line in the video clip Oh no way <laughs> Fully bro <laughs> And then all the boys Just hit me up All of them mm. Enters hit me up This guy Everyone was like Yeah this lad doing his thing He's mm. good He's good Who did he come out And just me, Nordic, I had to bring yep. Curvy. I bring Kid Curvy in the clip with me, bro. Yep. First time I ever met him, didn't even know him. He just jumped in the clip. Oh, yeah, We made out on that. And then they're like, this beast, bro. I just jumped into the scene straight away. I wanted to go full charge, bro. Yeah. So I just done a film clip and dropped that first song with film clip. And, and that was you, it. They were like, what the fuck that is this? On Fort's channel? Um, no, on Did my you channel. Make a ch- you made a channel? But I put that song on the album and I still, he's just like, drop it through my label. Oh, know? okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. so the first maybe one or two albums I did with him. At that time, 2016, so I don't know because I wasn't out then, was, was it big? Was it was Aussie booming, big? Bro. It was booming. We yeah. were starting to boom it up again. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Me. Do you find me that Husky, was the time where it started to come? Because I'd done that song and then Husky and all, everyone started hitting me up like, fuck, who are you, bro? You're coming in scene, man, man. Yeah. And everyone's like, let's work, bro. So everyone who thought that was something at the time, everyone's trying to work together. Like, let's do this, let's do that, let's bring out a song. Mm. And we'll boost an Oz rap again. It would die in, lad. I oh, yeah, because everyone was. around was making songs with everyone. It everyone, was just pumped that just, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> TK, Curvy, him and fucking yeah. I done an album with Ford. Me and yeah. Curvy, this, that, and everyone yeah. working with everyone. And everyone was slapping themselves out, bro. Yeah, everyone was slapping themselves out, bro. Runners, out, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so we lad. And yeah. now everyone in the scene just realised who everyone is and like, fuck, we ain't working with no no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mothers, that's what it's turned to. No, I can say <laughs> that, You know bro. how it is, bro. Yeah, yeah, I, can, I don't I give a fuck what anyone says. It's how it is, bro. It's all love until there ain't none, bro. <laughs> that would have been really um, like prosperous, growing times. Like was, everyone's, was, everyone's was. just really interested in it. Yeah. All the kids would have been frothing every single thing that came out. They were, and they were, bro. Yeah. You're getting like two thousand likes straight away on your Facebook. Yeah, that. yeah. These days you pump eight hundred or something. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You're yeah. Like, it's just not the same. There's so many artists out now. Yeah, so many drew artists, bro. So yeah. many, uh, and there's just so many replicas of each other in yeah. the scene. You can I listen. look, bro, I see, even since I've been out of jail, bro, for the last four years, since I first looked at it, 
thought I'm going to participate in it and got to where I am. Yeah. As you know, I've stepped away from rap. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And you a major, a major reason why is because um, I haven't said this. I don't think I've said this on camera before. A major reason why is to do with uh, what you, what you just alluded to. Then is that I seen p timing right a mad opportunity where someone who classes himself as a rapper had made a justified or an unjustified amount of retention because this scene was growing so much. And I seen it honestly, so this 2018, it's crazy by every fucking rapper, everyone's growing crazy. 2019, Aussie rap's the best shit ever. And something about 18 months ago, I seen maybe to do with what you said, it's just mm. everyone raps now. Yeah, everyone. It just everyone, everyone is a rapper now. Yeah. And like, and I just seen it like, sort of like not be that interesting to yeah, the ma to yeah, the yeah, to yeah. the masses anymore yeah. there's obviously the fans of everyone yeah. and there's the scene but it's like it's not that easy anymore you know what i mean mm -hmm. and i've seen it started to like i've had actually conversations with my manager about yeah, it and yeah, yeah. and that's what made me think like fuck like Maybe I'm gonna look elsewhere, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to get drowned. Your mind was built for more than that, obviously, brother. Yeah, it's good you did. It's, mm. You're doing. How do you watch your eats and all this other shit? There, wait, wait till you see what's coming. <laughs> Yo, I don't hook away. I'm like, fine. I got nah, carries nah, and that, yeah, but yeah. yeah. Um, but like, how do you take that? How do you see that, brother? Brother, is, is, is it's it funny, man? Because oh, like, I like, I'm not not a bit of bro. I all love to everyone doing their thing, yeah. but I just felt it's. Everyone just jumped in to try to be famous, bro. It yeah. wasn't even for the love, some of her. Mm. He raps, bro, I'm gonna rap because he raps. Mm. So they jump in and everyone's just, everyone, everyone. You know, if he's got more buzz than him, bro, we're gonna follow him now. Yeah, That's kind of lost its fucking love and integrity to the game and that, bro. Yeah. People were just, oh, fuck, it's cool to rap now. 13 year olds, bro, trying to do yeah. drillings and shit. And yeah. they do shit for hypes and scenes and that. You know, yeah. it's not, like the olden days when we first come in, well, olden days, fuck, a couple of years ago. <laughs> but you know what days. I mean, lad? <laughs> Talk to my manager about the olden yeah, days. Yeah, I know, bro. Right. Right. Not bro. bad, lad. He's <laughs> rapping fucking horror show, the fucking, no. you got like, saying it, I gotta, I gotta bring there. something up quickly, bro. Yeah. I tell you what, Brad Strutt helped me get into the Aussie. I, yeah. I liked Australian rap because of him, Brad oh, Strutt. Oh, because of Brad Strutt? Yeah, yeah, because he was different, bro. He just didn't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. The way he delivered and shit like that. I, I um he's another one that got me in Oz rap. I gotta admit, bro. Yeah, man. I had to take it back there for him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, I fucking um I yeah, liked bro, um man. when I first heard Trem. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. just another fucking animal, bro. Yeah. They're when I first heard their him, times, I bro. Fuck, Imagine if mad, they got put bro. into this with yeah. these days. You know, it yeah, would have yeah. been totally different. It would. It would. That's been another totally timing thing. Brother. That's another timing thing. Exactly. Thing. It is. It is. It is, bro. It's they like, were like mad OGs, and they got the maddest respect of real heads, bro. Yeah. People that love music and love hip hop yeah. and rap the real the realness of it yeah a lot of these all these new age people they won't love them they don't even know yeah. them how, how do you see that balance bar like if you you I mean i fall into the older style rap that borders like a sort of heavy metal feel yeah like, i know feel you love the necros and vinnie paz and yeah, all that yeah, i've I noticed do, bro yeah and, and you know i what? love necro my boy loves necro yeah, heaps, yeah. bro so we've listened to that all the time too. yeah and i get that Demonic fucking heavy metal and yeah, yeah. rawness, bro. That's, that's, I get that's why you like that me, shit. Bro. That's 100%. what's in me, bro. That's what's in me. So I yeah, find yeah. it hard to like fit in, really. You know, I understand yeah, that. Yeah. that. You're clever. What, when I listen what, to some of your shit, you're very clever, lad. Yeah, thank you're you. You're clever. Thank some you. people, yeah. they overlook clever because mm. it's just this too clever for us, yeah. bro. We can't even like. And you know what? There. Clever isn't always. Um, Phonetically nice, yeah. Or musical, yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, bro, like that's what ninety-five percent of people, they don't want to listen to music; they want to hear it. Yes, and there's bro, a difference, bro. That's, bro. That's it takes took a lot for on. me to get to this spot point. On. Listening is, yeah. There's full hip hop fans, and when they're stoned, they sit there and they judge your lyrics and they tell their mate, "You should hear this bar," but that is barely anyone. Yeah, yeah in, in yeah. the in the wider scheme yeah, of things, yeah. you know, it's it's barely anyone. Music bro. to a lot of people is. And I accept it, and I, and I, and, and you know, it's it's just a it's just a vibe, mm. and it's a yeah, vibe. You know what I mean? 100%. Yeah. And I'm not good at that. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you straight out. Yeah. I'm not good at the vibe aspect. I'm mm. not good at making a flow that is pleasant to the ear in the background of your car. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, I make music for me. Bro. I kind of I thought the same, bro. When I make a music, I'm like, shit, man. You're making it for yourself and. You're yeah. not making it for these people to fucking nod their head to, bro. I'm yeah. doing it because I want to get a feeling out. Like most of my songs that are do with me kids, bro. Yeah. Or fucking baby mamas or all past fucking troubles I've been yeah. through. From like songs like Thoughts or 
Heartless or all my songs like Harvey Dan, even telling the rappers they're fucked, bro, because yeah. that's the way I am. Yeah, yeah whatever yeah. I'm doing on a track, I fucking mean what I'm saying, bro. I've always done whatever I want to. One of your album been, covers is a picture of you as a baby. A kid, yeah, that's my song thoughts, bro. Is there something like cracked? It's glass? like a broken mirror. Like yeah, broken that's mirror. The one, bro. Yeah, so yeah. is that very symbolic picture? That is heaps, bro. I just that's me. If someone that. goes like. That's just me as a kid looking blank, stareless and no love yeah. at a young age, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I wanted to I wanted to put that picture to, to kind of symbolize that. Yeah. So the real ones would go, fuck, oh, this, and I can see this hurting you, bro. Mm. I can see the hurting you when you're young, lad, you know? And yeah. from then, bro, that's why I was saying earlier, I put that mask on, bro, and I created something so I'm not that little boy now. Yeah. I'm not that little boy, that, you know? Yeah, I wanted yeah, to become yeah. something different where no going to burn me, lad. Yeah. No gonna burn me and slice me up and Yo. and shit i'll do whatever i have to do you yeah. know and um but that song meant the most to me bro did you start spinning out when it started going somewhere yeah yeah bro i fucking know if i'm yeah. like i kind of it's it's weird bro because i'm like i want to be the best i want to be the best in Yo. australia years ago bro and Yo. i got to a point where i was close bro i was top tier Yo. with them with all the tops you know yeah and i'm like where well, i did this bro i kind of did what i said but what I was do you do. judge best off do you judge it off numbers? Do you nah, judge it? Nah, bro. That so I'm who's to say you're not the best to do then? with them? Yeah, yeah, you're well, you right. You said you're, you're right. close to the best. What are you judging that closeness off? Yeah, Why you're not right, the bro, top? You know. Yeah, yeah. I, I just felt like because I give love to a lot of people that were doing the same, and there yep. were some people that were just as good or better. Mm. So I'm like, I'm not the best, bro. He's the best. Oh, you like you know? to see there's some hear I don't even listen to, and I know yeah. that they're good. Like Husky, yeah. bro. You know, I can't listen to his music, bro. So I'm not a fan of it. Honest, bro, I'll be honest. He's a mad rapper, though. He's I've the said best. The same he's he's a gun so rapper. Good, but I can't listen to his shit because he's too hurtful, lad. Yeah. He's too sad for the me sad. to fuck with. I've said this actually. Brother, a few times. I can't. Yeah. I swear because I listen to him and go, this, bro, but like, you, fucking he, he's, sad. He's, he's, he's a, you can hear natural he's very ability. Good mark, you know, he's a gun yeah, rapper. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you're right, subject to me. Yeah. It's, and that's it, every. And that's what real. Makes I know he's the like, yeah, like I'll give him mad love for his music. What makes the world great is that people like this there's a diverse range of people mm. that like a diverse range of things so there's no right or wrong but for me when i hear and he knows that i've said this when i hear hip-hop i associate that with dominance and power and and, just, and strength yeah i don't yeah, associate yeah, it with weakness yeah, to, yeah, yeah weakness yeah. and sadness saying. you know I so feel exactly that when i hear someone rap and they say and like oh my life is bad i hate myself i'm just mm. like bro Stop. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Where's the murders, but yeah. let's OG, you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like, that's where's what it's, that? yeah, yeah, where's that? Because that's what hip hop is. It's pretty much you're trying to better than the next man. It's what it is. Yeah. It started with battling, mm. like, I'm better than you. I'm yeah, flexing yeah. on my track. It's what it's about. Yeah. He was that real that I couldn't listen to him. Yeah. Because I'm like, wow, well, this touches feelings, bro, too much. And I'm like, I can't listen to that shit. Mm. As much as I know he's so good, like, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, he's, just he's, what he's gone, he's gone. He, he knows, he's, yeah. I've, I've told him yeah, that yeah. I, he's, I see him as, in that sense, technically, naturally the best rapper yeah. that I've ever met in that Australia. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. The way he can put shit together, he knows how to incorporate his life, but also knows how to put that story behind it. Mm. So he's molded them both together, bro. And, and he makes like it seamless. Clever. Doesn't sound like Effortless they're constructed brother. bars. It Effortless, sounds like a conversation. Rolls. Yeah. Alex Jones is another best in the world, bro. Like best in Australia, 100%. Yeah. Unfortunately, yep. he just didn't pursue it enough. Yeah, yeah, Timing. Yeah. Timing, yeah. Timing, brother. Yeah, yeah. So, bro, like, you started doing shows. Let's get into the highlights. Give me some yeah, mad yeah, times, yeah. brother. Oh, bro. You're doing shows. What's, tell um, me. Traveling, bro. Me, Fort, and Kervin. That were the best times. When's your first time? You see, you've traveled? You've done yeah. shows around? We went to, it would have been, like, Queensland. We fought Tassie. We yep. went there, met Greeley and shit. And oh, yeah. We... I wasn't there to meet Greeley, but yeah. we went there, met him, and done shows and shit, and everyone blind and enjoying the whole tour life, bro. We didn't give a fuck about the money, bro. Yeah. We spend the cunt while we're there anyway. Yeah, yeah, It wasn't about that, bro. Pays for the it trips. Was times, bro, and memories and shit, yeah. you know? So- Who'd you go with, Fort and Curve? Fort, Curvy, Redback, uh, Defiant, they're um, just people we fought and that, made yep, beats yep. and shit for him. And oh, yeah. Another rapper and that, and- um. Bro, that were the first times. It would have been around the same year or 2017. Yep. Maybe 16. Yep, yep. Something around that. And um, yeah, bro. That were the first times. Yeah. You know, and I just wanted the memories, bro. Did you? Did people in other states know who you were? They were starting to know who we well, were. Yeah, bro. We spin so smart. Yeah, spinning hard. When you're in the train, like you're in the little green room or whatever, I can't go on the door, Mitch, let's get a photo. Oh, yeah. I'm hectic. frothing that shit up. Yeah. I'm like, come in, lads. Yeah. Got their phone and shit. Yeah. And um. I was mad to get noticed. Yeah. From coming from someone that didn't want to, I don't want to be noticed, but I didn't want people to look at you and shit. Yeah. And then you're like, yeah, fuck it. Always got nervous before I went on stage. Like, Did you? Every time. I still yeah. do now. Yeah. Man, I feel mad anxiety about it. Hey, I think like, fuck. 
And then as soon as I say There's a lot of expectation on in, is, bro, in conducting a rap people show. people don't know what I'm like, bro, at yeah. home. They don't know. They just think, well, this guy may be a hard bro, just does yeah. his thing and does his rhymes, fuck everyone. Yeah. It is fuck everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's still like, I, I, I still live, I'm human, I've got little boys, yeah. little kids and Do you shit. find, especially because you rap in a more, uh, like a more upbeat, like on, on the quicker side, right? Yeah, yeah. You obviously rap on the quicker side. So there's a lot to remember. Oh, bro, it, yeah. But it's going it out to do a show. Does that I've put done, your head in? Brother, I've done shit where you've had a couple of drinks before you jump on. Yep. I'm like, the beat's going. I'm like, what the fuck is my verse? <laughs> the, whole, the whole time I'm ready. I'm about to go and it just kicks in before I go, bro. No way. <laughs> and I'm like, Bang, fuck, lad. Have you ever Swear, fucked up bro, hard? Have you ever like, some bang. times, lad? <laughs> brother, one Have time. Have you ever just stood there like, bro? One like, time I've done my first verse again in the second verse. Oh, did you? On stage. I look at the dude on the thing and he goes, yeah, you did. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Fully <laughs> right. So you wrapped it twice? Or wrapped it twice. <laughs> Everyone's Does jumping up. Say, Everyone <laughs> cheering still. Don't give yeah, a fuck. Yeah. So blinded to me, bro. They, yeah, they true, eh? fuck. Um, They're the memories I laugh about, bro. They're the good ones, bro. Yeah. So, bro, when you, when you started, like, getting into the rap, that yeah. was when grime was popping off. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Why, why, why did you choose grime? If you screw up listening to Eminem and all those other rappers. The beat, bro, and the tempo and the, yeah. the roar and fastness, bro. That's what it was. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I can go hard, bro. I can rhyme faster because I love that yeah. shit. Always wanted that BPM higher anyway, you know? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, man, I can do that. I heard some of the beats and I'm like, fuck, these rip up. Yeah. These yeah. shits on Oz. Yeah. Shits on Aussie rappers, bro. Yeah. I'm like, so man. these are like pommy rappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah pommy yeah. rappers who started grime and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I kind of, um, I always listened to like Alex Jones and Sana. So mm. that would have, Fracture was pretty much the first that was doing to hear that. Yeah, and then, So um, Fracture's like, bro, do you want to, you go mad on grime. I'm like, oh, well, I've been listening to it, bro. I'm going to give it a go. Yeah. He's like, go to a beat and I'll put it on an album that he had, like a mixtape. So I spat, I think it was called 50 Bar Salute. Yep. Just wearing a fucking jacket, graffiti war, shitty ass clip, bro, back yeah, in the day. Yeah. And then um, I spat to him, I'm like, fuck, bro, Grimes mad and I can go to that tempo sip. Yeah. That was it, lad. I yeah. just wanted to stick with that for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you noticed it's, it started to, like, the, it, everything was grime. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. just only grime. Yeah, and then bro, because everyone was jumping in it, lad. Yeah. It was like me, Shadow, Nerve, Chill. Yeah. Alex Jones and fucking everyone and everyone was boosting it doing like grime nights and traveling like Melbourne, Sydney. Wombat. Wombat yeah. come along and just fucking annihilate him. Yeah. He's his, mad, eh? He's a fucking animal. We got a, we just done a song and I listened to the verse. I'm like, too good lad. Yeah, he's <laughs> mad, he's mad. Turn it off. Bro, you know when it like broke, because I know so the song rap. like, so, so like, because I don't listen to a lot of rap straight yeah, out, bro. Yeah, I listen nah, to I fucking you, Foo Fighters and stuff yeah, like that, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, um, That's my but, radio in the morning, bro. I don't, I don't talk nothing rap. Yeah, yeah. Work, bro. Hard rap. Right, yeah. I listen to old shit. But I heard like um, Wombat songs like Black Sheep and stuff like that. And yeah. then, but when I had him here sitting where you are, yeah, yeah. and he was telling me like he's yarn, I don't yeah. know if you, and I thought, fuck that song, Black Sheep. Yeah, yeah. But it's deep, lad. Yeah, it is. This man's explaining he's very his entire deep. That dude's mind, mind bro. is crazy, bro. Yeah, bro. It's crazy. He's super talented. He just really fucking with it, eh? Yeah, he's got a lot to fucking. He's got a lot to say in such a little space. Yeah, you know what I mean. His mind needs to be shot out in the fucking planet, bro. (laughs) He's on that. You know what I mean? He's that deep and that intricate and open. The dude's not human, bro. If he harnesses that, when he harnesses it correctly, it goes crazy. Yeah. Like that verse and the one with chilling it. Is yeah. that the song? When he goes crazy? Yeah. The song yeah. with chilling it goes no, and I, then I, he goes. I, like, bro, I got mad love for chill doing his thing, yeah. but he chomps chill. Imagine if he was like in uh, the roles were switched, bro, and yeah. back got pushed. You're yeah. just not sellable enough to like chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes down to, well, that's, to the way you are as well. Oh, well, there you go. It comes down to the way you are and it comes down to the way you speak. Yeah, bro. bro. bro how like, you present You know what? And, and I've talked, I talked this, to this, you know? not on the podcast, but when I... Um, was with uh, doing a film clip, Il Che, and I, a mundane come in the clip. Yeah, and I was yeah, talking yeah, I know to him. One, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was talking to him then, and like, unfortunately, <laughs> I said, Why did I sound pommy then? <laughs> the fuck I did that come us. from? I love you, bro. You're a mad What the fuck? <laughs> You're talking too much about grime, brother. Stop that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you sound bro. like a, a female Spend pommy. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. like a man, um, yeah, yeah, brother, guy. what was I going to say? Wow, I forgot what I was going to say. The clear. Oh, um, unfortunately, brother, like that side of it is is like more. Pe- we we're talking specifically about boxers and athletes, yeah. and why some 
are more respected, more known, more remembered than others when they weren't as good. Yeah, but yeah. time goes and it, and it comes down to that, what you said, like sellable, talkable, stuff like that. It's, it's like, it is, and the best example, the, bro, is, the best example is for me, right? The best example is Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield. It's the best example. I, 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 I got to, everyone, Mike Tyson's the biggest animal in the world. Yeah, yeah. He's the best. Huh. He'll kill anyone. He'll kill this. He'll kill death, that. Bro. I love the Mike Tyson. I love to the death way too. his animal instinct is. Bro, bro. how mad's Mike Tyson as like a that. person? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, watching him talk, it's like watching, bro. like, he's like, when I watch it's the so podcast, raw. He's he like, is. He's, his soul is right there. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah, say yeah, the wrong yeah. word, it twists and it's crazy. But in boxing terms, why does no kid know who Evander Holyfield is? Yeah. Is Mike Tyson for getting beat on the fucking ear? Though. That's right. Is Mike Tyson better than Holyfield? Well, he lost both times. Yeah, yeah. Holyfield beat him. Holyfield was champion in so many weight divisions. Holyfield come and fought Mike Tyson when Mike yeah, Tyson yeah. was his best and All beat right, him. So yeah, yeah. He beat him. Yeah. Then Mike, then they fought again and he was bashing him again. So Mike Tyson beat he his beat ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hollyfield is he better. Lost control, right? Yeah, he he's is. He's better he than is. Mike but Tyson. Will, Mike Tyson will forever. But no one knows who he is. No one knows who nah, Hollyfield. Nah. Oh, look, don't yeah. get me wrong. Look it? at Tyson too, bro. He's wrestling a tiger. Yeah, he says what he says. Yeah, Come yeah. Here, I'm gonna fuck don't get me wrong. Right? People know who Hollyfield is. Yes, if he's yes, a boxing, yes. but it's not on comparison to that's Mike it. Tyson's level. That's, that's exactly not yeah. even whether close. he can smash him. It's not even close. And that's because you put the camera on Hollyfield. Yeah, and he has nothing to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just there being polite yeah oh it was a yeah. great fight no. and his story you know what like freaks me out how quick he goes from happy to angry to about to cry yeah yeah in one one sentence 100 he's full happy laughing. that's why he's so dangerous, then he's about to bro. cry bro yeah, <laughs> dangerous on the planet yeah because their mind just is so emotional and yeah. love and anger at the same time it's heightened by yeah. 1,000 more and he's smart than normal people like normal and he's people very smart very intelligent and very deep if you're intelligent you're crazy bro yeah. you're psycho yeah. true it is bro everyone true, that's true. got a mind on them they're not fucking maybe they're quiet but they're playing in the bombers yeah, or something yeah, bro. Yeah. One of those. but other guys <laughs> that are like intelligent they're crazy they're over loving yeah I've always found that bro with intelligent people I meet they're like angry yeah, but yeah. they're also big love and take this shit off the back for you and um well I guess then everything's intensified intensified with, with the, it's enhanced with, yeah. bro their feelings and emotions and 100% mm. I believe that yeah for sure yeah character <laughs> they yeah, got big character, character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah bro so fucking what do you get up to nowadays me bro yeah. I, I, yeah, what, I, what do you got music wise going oh, man, on man I've got an album coming bro I was supposed yep. to already release it but like, but you still make music with Espa? He always Espa. All right. I love that dude, bro. He's he's he done molded like my, my first voice. Eight songs, yeah, six yeah, songs, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. bro. Yeah, we spoke heaps on you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, yeah. listened to your shit in the studio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> listen to it, bro. Yeah. He always show me shit. Um, I'm always recording with him, bro. I'm doing an album. I'm supposed to be out already, but um, in five dogs still. Nah, bro, I'm Blacktown now. He owns a, oh. the place used to be Electric Sun. Yep. I think he changed it to Safe Studios. Um, he a fucking mad posse, brother. Like mad spot. Mad. Good on Five him. different rooms, big. No he's way. running it off head now. Good he on getting him. bank and he's doing shit good. Because before it was he like it. the little room he in uh, little the back room, of bro, Five Dog. Fucking like this on the couch. You're busting a sweat in there. I used to, drip. I used to come oh, out for brave. Bro, I full strip off yeah. in there just record, bro. <laughs> just... Just shorts, bro. Hey, he's grouse as fuck. Yeah, yeah. I got an album coming, bro. But um, yep. I was supposed to be out, as I was saying. But um, time. I'm yeah. Got little kids, bro. I work. Mm. You know, got to do shit. I, I've done yeah. a clip to one of me, one of them off the album coming now. It's called My Eulogy. Mm -hmm. So it's a song about. It's in it's in my own funeral, bro. I'm going to my own funeral. Oh, like, really? In the clip, it's hectic. But no. I love that deep shit, bro. Yeah. And I'm saying, come love me while I'm here, bro. Not when I'm dead and you're giving me flowers. Like I deserve my props now. Mm -hmm. Come love me now, bro. Yeah, like, hectic. you know, like anyone who supports me, not, it's, the song's not about that, but it's about friends and family. Like, come and love us while we're alive. Don't cry when I'm gone, bro. Because yeah, I, I don't want that shit. Don't come to, don't come to my That's the human. common way, though. Eh? It is, bro. It's it is. Because you know how humans are, bro. Yeah. Celebrities, uh, you know, we give them love and shit, but they die, we're all sad and shit. Yeah. But like people every day that you know or, or that you fuck with or you've worked with and that and you just don't show them love until they die or something More that's enough. putrid yeah, yeah, yeah. that's putrid I'd never do that shit if I don't fuck with you behind come and do your funeral plain yeah. and simple yeah, for real yeah, mad, bro. If we ain't showing love bro we ain't showing love when you're dead either yeah, yeah. and super yeah, real bro and you're doing that that uh, album with Espa um, yeah bro when? I got a few songs built up I got a couple to go I put the Gucci Mane one on it yeah hectic I got um, Wombat on one of them yep. with um Fuck, who else is on it? Ray Pelka, this dude that sings my choruses. Yep. Dude's fucking hell good. Oh, yeah. Reminds me of a fucking 
fully Freddie Mercury slash David Bowie Australian version oh no way brother 100% <laughs> the songs are ridiculously good like, he's like what do you mean sing he's the it's, it can sing, bro. Like, how it, are you integrating like that type of singing into your songs, brother? I'll wait till you hear yeah, their songs. I'm, very I'm telling you, it's enhanced me as an artist, bro. Like how someone will do a song with like some singer a doe or something, bro, and they're yep. doing verses to the shit. It's yeah, crazy yeah. different, and it's catchy, bro. And it's, yeah. it enhances the track, bro, to a different. Not a different genre, but a different amount of people that go, wow, yeah. you can get that singing in it, and you got normal shit. Like I've done one with me before. It's called Battles. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about a girl and life like baby mama and this kind of shit and yep. then he sung in it and it's just people like can't used to need to do more together yeah and then i just heard him spitting a fucking little song freestyle about flows flows was in jail he's one of flows boys yeah oh is he yeah yeah oh, right yeah. pretty as yeah. <laughs> pretty as boy lad doing his thing and i'm like bro you deserve way more way more props come to a track with me lad and just yeah. boost let's boost you yeah and man. then um yeah, so I got a couple with him on the album, Flows as well. Oh, yeah, sick. Um I just wanted to keep it that, raw and people that I fuck with, bro. Yeah, fuck yeah. I know. Have you got a name so, for the album yet? I haven't, bro. Oh. I haven't. That's the hardest thing I've yeah. had in life is naming my albums, bro. Oh, yeah? I swear to God, man. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I'm a hopeless. Even with the name of the songs, bro, I'm like, what could a call this? What did you say in your chorus? Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. <laughs> that'll do, bro. Let's call it that. <laughs> Fully, bro. Uh, even yeah. the names of songs, actually. That's what I mean, yeah, bro. Even the tracks, I was songs. like, fuck, what am I going to call me track? What did you talk about? All right, let's call it that battle. Yeah. So battling myself, bro, my mind and shit like this. So they come right at the last minute, bro. Yeah. Yeah, fully. <laughs> but uh, this will be my fifth album, man, and uh, I feel like I worked hard all the way to now, you know? Definitely. So I'm happy, bro. I'm happy with this too because I always evolve as an artist, bro. Like I, I, I feel like I'm an artist, not a rapper, lad, because I'm doing more... I want to tell my story, bro. I'm not doing shit for these other people. I'm not doing songs for 13-year-olds for to dance to my shit, bro, and, mm. and walk around like hugs. Hmm. Or whatever the case be, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I feel like I got mad art going on with this shit, so I'm happy as of him now, bro. Hmm. I feel like I've grown as an artist, you know. Yeah, that's mad, bro. Fucking oh, nice. Yeah, fifth album coming. I'm happy with Is it. Is there anything else, brother? Before like um, that, you you specifically wanted to get out? Not really, bro. Yeah. I wanted to let you know about when I was young and how it molded me yeah. as who I am, bro. Like I don't fucking trust a lot of people, bro. Mm. I don't fuck with dudes. I don't fuck with with anyone, bro. I just do my own thing. I love my kids, bro. That's it. I'm a father before rapper, hectic. bro. I'm a father before rapper. 100%. Yeah, hectic, brother. Thank you, brother. I respect brother, that. Oh, man, Legend, I respect bro. You, bro. You're a Thank legend. you, bro. Thank, Thank you, you for me, coming bro. on. My pleasure. Bro. It's one. Well.